In this video, we will apply the loads and boundary condition on our chassis model for two different cases, and then solve for the stress and deformation contours. Let's go to the Static Structural tab and rename the system to Torsion Test. To simulate torsional load, we will apply 1500 newtons of force in the opposite directions on the two front uprights. While, the rear suspension mounting points will be simply supported that does not allow any translational motion but allows for rotational and pivoting. Within the Torsion Test tab, there are multiple types of loads and supports available to simulate different boundary conditions. Click on the Remote Force option, which allows us to apply a load by specifying the location. Here, the loads must be applied on the uprights. To select the edges we use the Edge Selection filter and click on the upright. Then click on the Apply button in the details of Remote Force. Input the Y coordinate as 0, this represents the tire contact patch. Change the Define by tab to Components. Now we can add components of force. Add 1500 Newton in the Y component, the added force is visualized as a red solid arrow. Similarly, by following the same steps we can add a negative 1500 Newton force onto the front right hand side upright. Now, let's add the simply supported boundary condition at the four vertices on the rear bulkhead of our frame. From the torsional test menu, click on the simply supported option. Then select the four vertices on the chassis members and click on Apply. Thus, our boundary conditions have been applied onto the chassis frame. We can view the applied conditions by clicking onto the Torsional Test tab. To get the stress and deformation contours, we click on the Solutions tab and right-click to insert the Total Deformation as well as the Beam Tool option. The total deformation shows us the displacement of different members, while beam tool showcases the linearized stresses. Now that the solutions are set up, solve the system. Once the solver completes its iterations we can check the solutions by clicking onto the total deformation button. The legend shows the total displacement of members as highlighted within the model. We can click on the play button in the graph window which animates the movement of components. We can check the stresses with the beam tool. In this case the maximum stress value is well below the yield stress, therefore the current design does not require any changes. To add another analysis system, click onto the new analysis tab and select the static structural option. Let's rename it as Cornering Test. In the new added system, the geometry, materials, connections and other entities are automatically carried over from the first system, and are therefore not required to be defined again. Thus, by only changing the loads and supports we can analyze the chassis model based on multiple conditions. To simulate cornering condition, we will apply fixed support to the upright members with 1 G of force working in the X direction. To further account for the inertial effects while turning, we will add standard earth gravity with the mass of the driver and engine. In our model, the driver mass can be added to the chassis as a point mass. Right-click on the Geometry tab and select Point Mass. Select the approximate position of the driver as the four selected nodes and click on Apply. Assuming a mass of 70 kg, seen as a spherical ball at the middle of the four selected nodes. Similarly, we can add another point mass of 25 kg towards the rear structure. After adding the engine mass, right-click onto the cornering tab and select Acceleration. Change the defined by, to components and add 1G acceleration in the X component. The applied 1G acceleration in the positive X direction is now visible on top of the model. From the same tab we can then add the standard earth gravity in the negative Y direction. To fix the uprights, we choose the fixed support and select the vertex joining the uprights as the geometry point. 
The fixed support restricts the uprights in any translational or rotational motion. Following the same steps, fixed connection can be added to the right-hand side and rear uprights of the chassis frame. We can see the four fixed supports, acceleration and earth gravity have been added and the model is ready to be solved. Insert solutions for the total deformation and the beam tool in the model. Once the solver completes its iterations we can check the solutions by clicking onto the total deformation button. Similarly, we can check the stress contours, axial forces or other case-dependent results by adding them through the Solutions tab.